I was about to say, yo, uh, Instagram is lying. About what? The price. The price? Yeah, what well, the price is, because I looked on your Instagram before I came here. But it's not lying. I'm looking at it now. It says $7.99. Like your per your per So Can you cut that camera off, Yeah man. Yeah. Come talk to him. Who him? Yeah, start this whole thing over again. I mean, is that worth it? That was a very odd exchange between two people. So so was there something that we did that that made like where where did that get to the point that you felt like we needed to leave the store? I guess is what I'm trying to ask. I, I, I was set back on my mission. I didn't follow intuition. Back then I didn't want to listen. But now I'm gunning for redemption. I want redemption. I want it. I got it. I want redemption. Oh man, so much is happening one day. <laughs> so y'all, we about to eat at La Unica. Dom said these tacos will make you want to slap your mama. I ain't slapping mine. Slap my mama. I ain't gonna slap your mama. Oh no, you slap your own mama. <laughs> I ain't slapping mama. But um, yeah, so we about to have some tacos. They better be good. It's Thursday. It's not Taco Tuesday. So I'm gonna hold the door for a gentleman. <laughs> Oh, such a lady. <laughs> hey. <laughs> On a scale of one to ten, that food was like a Four. Hated it. It's really close to the office. It is. <laughs> I know. Yeah. So we gotta go pick up David. No, we gotta go get something for David rather. David we gotta take it to him. David already spent all his damn buying money. <laughs> right. So we got to we gotta run to his mama. David. Yeah, what's up? You stay in West Bubba Bubba Booch. No, I don't. Shit. <laughs> We've been trying to get to your house from the office for the past 45 minutes. <laughs> it takes five minutes to get to my house from the office. What are you talking He's about? He's lying. He's lying. lying. <laughs> I'm really lying. Not when, seven, my house. Not when 74 is pushed down to one lane because of construction. Oh, my God. It's been 27 minutes, man. Have you called your mom? <laughs> I know. She knows, she knows where she put the money to the side. Okay. All right. Well, you can, you can tell her we about there, man. I, I just got on Seacrest from uh, Rocky River. All right, man. All right. Bye. Yeah, y'all, we have to give David shit because he's the one who's at the, um, the store working. Oh, so speaking of... All right, so listen. Y'all know I'm doing 700 things at once because it's time to elevate. You understand? So... Me and Dom, aka Ugly Shoes. He changed his channel name, by the way. That's why I call you Dom now. Anyway, I'll, I'll change it back. Come on. Uh, so <laughs> they sell sneakers. Technically, I'm starting to sell sneakers too. Go follow me at Royalties Kicks. Is um, that you being sneaky? How? Uh, sneakers. sneakers. Oh my god. <laughs> that was the corniest. That's a dad joke. You That's see? definitely a dad That's joke. What happens? He has a, he's a, anyway, so, <laughs> so we're going to, um, give him more money because he's, uh, bought a whole lot of stuff today. But anyway, so y'all, we're going to do the podcast sooner than later. Um, I need y'all to go follow this YouTube, subscribe to this YouTube channel called La Soul, La Soul Kicks. Um, I'm going to have it on the screen, but y'all, I, this is for a reason, like literally the podcast is about to be in fruition he has all the equipment and um we we got the office now we're gonna make it a damn we're gonna be in italy one day 
and then grease the next day because we have a green screen and you know we're just gonna work together and give y'all this fire ass content you know what i'm saying so make sure y'all go uh subscribe over there and i we're also going to be doing the podcast on uh the royalty experience so i want y'all to stay tuned man it's going the hell down all right now i still got an hour to go to get to david so enjoy this <laughs> montage while we go to a commercial break do, 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 do. <laughs> Shirt's not going on with these days. All right, y'all, let's go furniture shopping, shall we? I need a shake up. <laughs> hey. I'm a YouTuber. That's why I got the camera. Yeah. And she's furniture shopping. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, I am. You from Charlotte? Where you go to school at? Oh, I, I've been here since uh, like 2007. Okay. I grew up in Winston-Salem. I got gotcha. you. I was about to say, your uh, Instagram is lying. About what? The price. The price? Yeah, what the, well, the price is. Because I looked on your Instagram before I came here. But it's not lying. I'm looking at it now. It says $7.99. What do you mean? Oh, yeah. Like your per your per oh, So. Can you cut that camera off? Yeah, man. Yeah. Want to talk to him? Who, him? Yeah, start this whole thing over again. I mean, is that worth it? That was a very odd exchange between two people. So, so was there something that we did that that made like, where, where did that get to the point that you felt like we needed to leave the store? I guess is what I'm trying to ask. Because that was just a really odd exchange. Blah, 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 I'm from Winston-Salem. And I was like, and I, I I just don't, so I, that was just really a bizarre exchange to me. Like, to the point that it bothered me enough that I felt like I needed to call and clarify it with you. Yeah, it's, it's not far, and I get, uh, well, I, I grew up in Matthews, and I went to East Mech High School, like a half a mile from here. So, but yeah, no, is that, well, we're, we're parked in the room studio parking lot right now. Comment about what you and I look like. Uh -huh. His immediate comment was, "Do you not see what I look like and think that I have to deal with looking odd everywhere I go?" Right. He's a nice fucking guy. 
he 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 took it to heart that much when he heard what you said because he prides himself on honesty and being transparent so much that I guess it fucking hurt his feelings when you said that shit. <sighs> so what happened was I thought that the furniture said um, the wrong price from his Instagram. So I was like, shit, your IG lying um, because it's a different price. Then I said, oh, no, it's not. Uh, I was wrong. And he I said he that. Didn't, he didn't hear. I think he was so clouded from the fact that he had heard you say it was wrong that he didn't hear you correct yourself. I think he got stuck on that and he was already like getting up to come and talk to you because he thought you were calling him a liar. That whole, that whole exchange was really bizarre and that's why I was so thrown off by it is because he seemed like a nice guy. He's, he is a nice guy now that I've clarified it. I mean, but. sound like a nice guy to you, but I... I still haven't spoken with him. So, uh, so he not upset? No. Not upset at all. And he said he appreciated, he appreciated that it meant enough to me to call him back and he would like for us to come back so he could talk to us about it. Legitimately tried to explain to us why he, he, it went that way and felt bad about it. Did he ask? You don't have one of them. No. Did he ask you where uh, we YouTubers? No. Oh. Cause I, when you said yeah, man, I thought I thought that's that's what he asked. Whoa. I need. Mean, Y'all, it's raining well, like shit. Ain't you ain't getting over right here. Yeah. That the truck way back there. Yeah. But you ain't gonna be. Able to I just don't like. I ran over really hard on people in the rain. And did the same thing. I get it. Y'all, it's raining like, look at this. All I was trying to do was look at some furniture so I can get some furniture. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Tomorrow. That's all I wanted to do. That's all I wanted to do. Shit. Well, I guess we're going to go back and find out what happened. What's up, y'all? So, I'm in the furniture store. And, uh, you know, we talked everything out. We all good. So, I'm going to get... To be honest, it's not this exact for, um, couch. But it's something like it. Just to give y'all like a, a variance of, you know what I'm saying, what I'm getting. See what I'm saying? I'm trying to be like these. Thumbnail. <laughs> but yeah, y'all. This the end of it. A lot happened in the past hour, okay? I'm sorry. And I'm also getting to bed. No. The bed is not going to be a twin. It's going to be a queen. And I'm not going to have this either. So y'all really don't know what I'm getting. What do you want me to say? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But. <laughs> but yeah, y'all. We're going to end the vlog right here, man. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. I'll see y'all tomorrow. For Nikas. Uh, if you don't like Nikas, give me something else. Royal Gust. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I don't know. Give me something. I love y'all. I'm out. Peace out. <laughs> Yo, so I know I said I ended this video, but real quick, this is a lesson. The guy, so what happened is we walked in there. We had the camera. The guy was confused because we walking in with a camera. He got a little beef with the guy up the street. So, you know, he thinking we trying to come bomb the store. You know what I'm saying? And we weren't. We just trying to get some furniture. And he made up for it, man. Gave us a couple discounts. And I'm getting my furniture. And, you know, I'm sorry, y'all. This Nicest is... Nicest fucking guy in Facts. the world. Facts. 
and y'all need to go shout with him i'm gonna put his instagram right here he's really 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 a nice guy and a nice looking guy i don't understand but yo today is a good day dom thank you but sometimes everything don't have to end with confrontation you know what i'm saying some things are just a simple misunderstanding it, it wasn't even confrontation <laughs> right it was just it was just confusing it was confusing the, a situation got read improperly yeah he politely just asked us to leave the store because it had gotten to a point where I, I think as the store owner he was protecting his baby he wasn't mean he wasn't, he wasn't rude he wasn't rude he didn't raise his voice he didn't it was just a really awkward situation and in the awkwardness I think he just felt it was in everyone's best interest just to leave to, for us to leave so it wouldn't be a problem it bothered me so much that we got down the street and parked in a parking lot and I was like of uh, rooms to go I, I have to call him because this is not sitting okay with me it, it just it was not okay yeah at all I mean it wasn't sitting okay with you at all at all no he was like because he wasn't me I'm about to call him back I mean I'm about to call him like I don't understand this is I'm a confused. this is a giant man facts big that, dude that has lots of tattoos and yeah. can probably handle himself perfectly fine facts and you could tell by his calm demeanor that he didn't have a mean bone in his body and he was extremely a genuine guy so i just the the read on him did not did not line up with what transpired whatsoever that, that it didn't it didn't and i called and he he immediately said how much he appreciated me calling him and he would love for us to come back so we could talk because it was really bothering him too because <laughs> he really wasn't sure what had just happened he so. was like y'all don't even have to buy nothing i just want to you know what i'm saying get this together but we got it together y'all and um i just want to end this vlog on that good note you know that, that was it was all right it's all right he's a good guy i like his furniture he builds his own furniture he's pretty freaking dope and he drives a maserati just saying but <laughs> you can pick the fabric on your furniture your pillows facts he he knows a little bit about some design was talking about color matching and neutral colors and oh he'll hook it up that's a fact that's a fact that and, and it's free delivery and it's free delivery what absolutely that's why i was going to him in the first place i knew it was i knew it was a good place to go to you know what i'm saying but all right y'all we have this thing we're gonna see you tomorrow because we're actually shooting a video for him tomorrow that's just a good business deal man but all right y'all we out peace out are you looking to get your shirt printed by nick g the host and not only get your shirt printed, get the fattest, the best, the baddest logo in the world. And that's royalty apparel. And you can get it from me. Yes, me. I do everything. I print out the logo. I cut the logo. I pick the logo. I also make sure it's measured right so it won't be crooked on your shirt. Then I press it down. Okay, one, two, three. Pop open. Then you got the best logo out in the world, okay? And I gotta make sure that it's on correctly. Not only that, I gotta ship it. So I make sure it's on there, heat and press right. Then I make sure it's folded right. Package it right, okay, okay. Then you gotta close it so it can get to you on time, you know what I'm saying? Then I put my P.O. box on a paper and I send it to your door. Let me know if you want your shirt printed. Go visit royaltiesworld.bigcartel.com and go get your shirt today. Peace out.